This section looks at several advanced topics in MongoDB. The section begins with a review of sharding for large-scale applications. The focus then turns to the Mongo Monitoring Service, or MMS, which can be used to deploy, monitor, upgrade, and backup MongoDB installations. The section finishes with a review of caching techniques to make MongoDB even faster and more scalable. This video focuses on sharding and scaling in MongoDB. Sharding is reviewed at a structural level to understand how data is partitioned, such as shard keys, and the deployment implications of sharding, such as increased hardware footprint. The typical deployment that has been discussed in previous videos has MongoD processes running on servers that are then assembled into a replica set. Client connections interact directly with MongoD processes. This scenario is straightforward and provides some load balancing among nodes in the replica set. In a sharded scenario, several aspects of a deployment change. The first, and most notable, is that the client no longer communicates with the MongoD instances directly. Instead, a new component called Mongo S is introduced. The reason for this is that after data has been sharded, which is to say partitioned, the client doesn't know on which replica set a given piece of data is stored. The Mongo S instance is designed to route queries to the appropriate MongoD processes. The Mongo S process will most often run alongside the application or on a very lightweight server since all it does is route traffic. Mongo S knows how to route queries thanks to the config servers. These store metadata about sharded data. It is recommended that at least three config servers be deployed for reliability. Each config server contains the same information. A complete replica set is now required for each shard. This provides for reliability and failover at a data level. The config servers will work to ensure an even distribution of data across shards. Note that if a large volume of queries are made for data that is on a single shard, the other shard is largely idle and doesn't increase throughput. For this reason, it's important to choose the right shard key. A shard key is a field of a document that will be used to partition the data. For example, if a collection held documents representing people and the last name field was chosen as the shard key, then MongoDB would use the last name field to distribute the data. Keep in mind that if a collection of people documents contains many last names that start with A and C, then sharding would not necessarily split in the middle of the alphabet. It would split in the middle of the data. It's very important to choose a shard key that is likely to result in a distribution of queries among shards. This section introduced sharding in MongoDB. Sharding is how MongoDB partitions data to distribute work. Data is segmented based on a shard key. The number of servers required to set up a sharded cluster is much higher than what is required for just a replica set. The next video will present a sharding example.